Hi everybody. Hi there. Well, this little video is about uh, <laughs> Great Great Plano, Texas, which was great. It was great, but um, there was a lot of trouble there, and uh, <laughs> you know sometimes things just don't go as planned. We had a cold snap. Uh, I had enough horse sense to unplug the water line from the trailer, but not enough to drain the water line itself. So um, we got up in the morning and the pipes were fine in the trailer. However, the hose was frozen by a ball of ice, so <laughs> still no water. And uh, we needed propane, which was in the back of the truck, but the truck uh, tailgate was frozen shut also. So I had to move that around, put it in the sun, and wait for that to get done. And uh, and then that one town. Crockett, Texas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> not, not trying to pick on all you fine folks in Crockett, Texas, but... Must be bad timing on our part, apparently. <laughs> every place we went was closed. Yeah. I mean, we just couldn't find anything to do. So we picked up some pecans outside of the closed museum. Yeah. And uh, and then there's the safari thing. Well, the safari thing, uh, okay, she had a great time. Uh, <laughs> I was... Uh, all I could envision was one of these, you know, they got all these signs saying, we're not responsible for damage to your vehicle, and here is the truck that tows our trailer. And um, and I thought one of these camels was just going to rip one of the mirrors off. <laughs> <laughs> and the expense and the pain I had putting those things on. <laughs> yeah, it was not a good day. <laughs> but she had a great time. So anyway, uh, overall, it was a comedy of errors, but we did have a really good time there. We did. And you'll see in the video, uh, the campground itself is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. And so we already did that campground review. So definitely go back and look at that to yeah, see, see yeah. what Salmon Lake Park was like. Yeah, it was a neat little spot. So I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, keep life interesting. We'll see you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right, too. So come join us as we learn to RV full-time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, our next adventure, adventure is just over the hills. hills. Here's a few pictures of Salmon Lake Park Campground where we stayed. And this is such a unique place. I definitely encourage you to go back and look at our campground review for Salmon Lake so you can see more of this really awesome place. So General has never before met a cat that would let him get anywhere near it. Well, we used to have a bunch of cats around um, where we used to live uh, in North Carolina, but they would always run away from him or hiss or try and claw at him or anything. So when he came across this cat and this cat was just, you know, hanging out, didn't really care. Um, he was real curious and did all the sniffing stuff, but once he got done with that, that was it. He didn't have any interest in it anymore, and it was so funny. We thought that he would at least try and play with it or something, but no, just totally not interested. We had a really great time watching this uh, great blue heron uh, that was hanging out at the lake, and um, there was actually a white egret that was hanging out there too, but we weren't able to get a picture of it. It never seemed to stay in one place, but this blue heron was here pretty much the whole time. Here's what's happened to us. We're in Texas, cold snap. Um, you wouldn't think it Texas, but anyway, we're looking at 24 degrees. Uh, we went through this last night, same thing. Uh, we're, of course, we're eating up propane like crazy. It's all good. Got a spare propane tank, got it in the truck, and uh, 
going to our second night of this, so I, I thought, well, I'll go out and I'll hook up the ring out of propane. And I saw that coming. That's why we had the extra tank. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to hook up the tank. And you know what? I can't unlock the bed of the pickup truck. For some reason, it will not unlock. And it has a hard cover on it, so there's no way. I mean, that was the point of getting the hard cover, was it security. Sandy ran into town, took the empty tank, one of the empty tanks off the trailer, changed it out, and now we have heat. Ah, uh, thank goodness. We just want to share this kind of stuff with you because this is what you need when our things happen. Yep. You gotta just do what you gotta do. Yep. This was our absolute very first experience with buttermilk pie. Have you all ever had a buttermilk pie before? Oh my goodness. That was so awesome. Good job. Are you ready? Go catch it. It's really hard to blow up a balloon when you've got General screaming at you. <laughs> so we had never been to a safari place before and had no idea what to expect. And I guess when I was in Payan and the lady asked me to sign this release form <laughs> from damages, I should have realized that there could possibly be some issues, but it just never occurred to me. So I bought you know, this little cup of food and off we went uh, inside the gate. And first thing, this camel walked up to me because I had the window down. Ed had his window rolled up, but I had my window rolled down because I have the food and I want to feed him. But this camel stuck his head right in the window and pulled that cup out of the holder in the center console. He reached clear across me to the center console and grabbed that cup and, <laughs> and he was off with it. It was so funny. So Ed was taking pictures of all the animals and he had some camels over on his side of the truck. And all of a sudden this one camel started licking the window <laughs> and it was so funny. But then he just turned right to the side and started uh, licking on the mirror on the side of the truck and then he started to chew on it now that kind of freaked both of us out so um, we decided it was probably time to go because uh, we didn't know you know how much damage they would actually do to the vehicle so uh, that was it for the safari for us <laughs> So we drove to Crockett, Texas, which was only, I think, maybe 15 minutes away. It wasn't very far. And uh, there were a few things showing on Google that looked like uh, we would want to explore them. So we stopped at the Downs Aldrich house. And this is just the most beautiful gingerbread house I think I've ever seen in my life. This thing is just gorgeous. Um, but nobody was there to let us in and I couldn't find a phone number any place to call. But a very beautiful house, just an amazing house. And next was the Crockett Spring and uh, they had this little tiny park, just a very small park uh, with an awesome mural uh, for Davy Crockett and the spring was off to the side. We had supper at Three Chili's restaurant in Grapeland, Texas, and this was actually labeled as a Tex-Mex restaurant. And we had not eaten Tex-Mex before, so we were really uh, looking forward to trying this. And the food was totally awesome. This was a great meal. And the neat thing about uh, this building, it was a department store back in the early 1900s. So on each of the tables, they had shellacked in newspaper articles from that time period where the store was in operation from the early 1900s. So I was actually walking around while we were waiting for our food and I was looking at all the different 
uh, newspaper articles on the tables, and that was really awesome. Like Ed said, we did collect some pecans off the ground um, at a railroad museum that was closed while we were in Crockett. And uh, actually, pecan trees grow wild in that area. They're just kind of all over the place. Um, but I grabbed quite a few pecans off the ground and just filled my pockets up. And I was real excited to, you know, shell all these when we got home. I ended up only getting maybe about a half a cup because um, I guess a, a bunch of them had spoiled because they'd been on the ground too long. Um, but I thought that was pretty awesome that I got half a cup of free pecans. <laughs> 